the interior. It's very clean, very simple. Interior, we're gonna give it a... Oh my God. Well, 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 look who it is. What's up? How you doing, man? Good. I Good. Bring gifts. Bring gifts. What'd you bring? Sure, I'll take gifts. Is it a Porsche shirt? shirt? From, uh, McLaren. McLaren. Yeah, they gave me some stuff. So. Oh, I love McLaren. I have one. You are going to be reviewing my GTR and Chance's Porsche, but you have to you have to take your biases that you have right now yeah, I, I love them. and throw it out the window because they're two different cars, and my GTR isn't your standard GTR. Now, what is this? What Looks, this? performance, and BGA. You get an ability. Yeah, that'll be the last one you rank because you have to drive it first. Chance, can I borrow your car? I'm sure we can. Yeah. Thanks, Chance. Chance specifically told me I can never drive his car. Oh. Well, I didn't hear that, so. You ready? I'm more worried that Chance is watching right now. He's probably like, he is watching. Oh, God. What else he got here? No stripe here. Got the leather dash. Kept the uh, race tech's wheel nice. Ah. Oh, it's hard to get out of this car, isn't it, Jake? Wait, why is the seat so low? The seat's at least six inches higher. I don't even think you can raise it. You want the God's honest truth. Can someone look up a, a 992 GT3 manual and see how to raise the... Oh, seats? Jake, Jake, Jake. What? You think that the chat helps me. They, they'll help, I think. No, they, they say do it yourself. Really? Yeah, there's no help to be had. From what I know, you cannot adjust these no things. No way. They are bolted in. Yeah. And they only go forward and backwards. Yeah, that's what I, th that's what I thought. But I'm curious why that one's six inches higher. Oh. What the? Guys, what's up here? I'm here with Jake and Big Live. You go with Live still? Yeah, I'm working on getting it. That's actually cringe. It is. It's, it's worse than TV. Guys, I'm here with Jake. We're testing out Chance's $350,000 Porsche GT3. Well, it's like 200000 but he did pay a lot over. But we can talk about Yeah, anyways, continue. We have to do performance first, so we need to go for a drive. Now, keep in mind, he's a, t a tad bit biased because he loves Porsches. And I'm going in this with zero bias. Okay, so it's actually... Let's not think of it as a GT3 versus a GTR. Let's think of it as Nick's car versus Chance's car. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna go with looks, performance, and BGA, which is just getting ability. Okay, and you can rate it out of 10. What type of are we trying to get? Any. Like different cars attract different features. Any, whatever we can get. You know, maybe we should add like one category for like uh, the inside of the car. Okay. So what do you want to call that? Um, <laughs> interior? That's a good one. I smell that? I think we're ready to give it a go. This guy's a race car driver, by the way. Chad. I'm not, I'm, I feel like, no. Compared to everyone else, he races cars. You will be paying for gas today. I mean, luckily it's three dollars here in California. It's like seven fifty. Bro, ain't that a trip? It's insane. Oh god, I haven't driven this thing on the streets. I've only driven it on a track. So, so keep in mind, when it, whenever you're in a car like this, everyone always looks at you. Yeah. Okay, and they're gonna see me and you in a car. Yeah. And what do you think they're gonna think? Well, you have a little notepad. Looks like you're taking a driving test. We kind of are. What are we gonna, what are we gonna think? They're gonna think we rented this car and we're out on like a. Like, we don't look like we should be driving this car, first of all. Bro, you wanna hear something crazy? So me and Chance went to a friend's wedding and we rented a Mustang. It was a V6 yellow convertible Mustang. So of course, what we do is we put the top down, we're blasting music, etc. right? Bro, people were screaming homophobic slurs at us. No way. Yes. In tech, where was this? Texas? This was in, this was East Coast, like Boston. That's rough, that's all, that's very, happened very recently. No. Oh, not recently. This was six years ago. Okay. I mean, six years ago, maybe they're just gamers. <laughs> so how you feeling about it so far? I'm, I'm more just nervous, but this car, if, it's so, so basically my initial feel is, yes, you feel a lot of the road. It's bumping around. Yes. Um, you know, these, this car is a GT series car, so it's made for the tracks. So you're gonna have a lot more tighter suspension and things that comes along with the territory. Wait, have you guys accumulated tickets in this uh, car yet? No tickets. Yeah, when I was in Texas last time, I took an Uber home from 
this area. Yeah. Yeah, we actually got pulled over. The driver was black, but when he gave his papers and everything, gave it, he like got back in. When he got back in the car and drove, and like nothing happened. Obviously, I was like, because in my head, like, why the? And this is like when all the stuff was happening, and people are getting a lot of shit going on. And uh, anyways, he got back in the car to drive away. He's like, dude, they got a white boy in my car, and I was like. And I actually tried to like talk to the officer, like, dude, there's no way this guy's getting pulled over for nothing because he didn't do anything. And I was like, it'll actually a little. Wait, so a black driver got pulled over for doing nothing? Yeah, basically. And you were in the car? I was in the car, and I felt like I was in like the situation, like the like the videos I see. I'm like, dude, there's oh my no God. way. And so like, even I was like, hey, I'm trying to get back, man. We were trying to take me back, and like I was trying to talk a little bit, but they took him out of the car, checked the papers, put him back in, and, and then That's the right. guy basically said like he was making a joke, but I, but I understood his joke, and it's like I I. The best way to cope with pain is with that. laughter. He was yeah. really hurt. Well, thank really God for you, man, for being white and saving that guy a ticket. <laughs> okay, that's not what we're getting at, but I was just saying Amazing. I, it was interesting to see that. So what we're doing now is we're about to go on an on-ramp, and the speed limit is 75, so you can give it some juice here if these oh, people weren't in front of you. Yeah, I'll give them a break. You're good. I've never been bungee jumping. You want to climb a mountain? Yeah, I'm down for all of that. I'm, oh my I'm, God. I'm very much so a yes man. You are DWB. What's DWB? Your dad, white boy. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Do we need to pull over? We're gonna pull yeah, over. Yeah, I'm so serious. Who are you flooring it then? Oh God, do not throw up in this car. Can I make you nervous? Yeah, because if you throw up in Chance's car, I have to clean it up. So yeah, I'm a wee bit nervous. We're getting off this next exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's just do the quick performance review. Yeah, let's do that. Um, on a scale of one to 10 performance, what do you think it was? The fact that it can pull away with such ease and smoothness as it shifts gracefully through these gears, it just felt like butter. I don't know what gets better than this, but I don't. I probably can't rate it a 10, so it's gotta be a nine. Now the interior. They have a little, couple more bells and whistles on GT3 than some of the other uh, models, um, but they do keep it you know, simple as a race car. So the interior maybe could have some more things to be visually appealing or functional for us. I think it could be better. It's very clean, very simple. Interior, we're gonna give it a... Oh my God, no, no. That could have happened to this car. Thank God it didn't. So Melina's parking the GTR. No. And this thing is swinging and it just smacked the f out of the GTR. No! I'm so glad it didn't happen yeah. while I'm driving this. Thank God we dodged that. Holy sh! Okay, interior. Interior. Seven, seven and a half. Seven point five. Listen, it's a Nissan. Yeah, we'll submit the tickets. I'm not worried about it in the slightest. Really? You don't like? You have to. Dude, I bought that car so I wouldn't have to be worried. Oh my God. We'll take a look at it when we get out there. The look, look. We have, we have to go look at the car. Right, let's go look at the car so we can get out. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I think it hit the tire. Oh, it hit the tire. We're saved. It hit the tire, chat, and they didn't even hit the GTR. It, oh, yeah, it right did. There. It did hit this. I think it's better that it's this than the paint. Yes, it did. Oh, she's pissed. She's pissed. She's going to break the door down. She is. I've already talked to them about buying new rims. Okay. But I mean, like, if that would happen here while I'm driving, I would have. Oh, if that happened to that car, Why? we'd be f. It'd be good content, but that'd be No, it wouldn't be. It would be f. Wow, looks like it's uh, wicked. Uh, wicked? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, that's it? 
Uh, I think the Porsche model, honestly, it grew on me a lot, but I used to hate it. Oh, it's uh, soft, soft, soft. It's, it's very simple. Yeah. Uh, but I keep, it, it maintains the Porsche look. All right, GTR, GTR. Looks wise, I like the color choice of the white. Yeah? Yeah, I do like the white the most. All right, let's get in the car. It's too loud out here. Okay. All right, so right away, I'm in this. I like the carbon cluster. Yeah, a lot more mechanical, though, feeling already. But that's cool. I think having mechanical gauges is, uh, or analog. Is, is actually really nice. So what do you think so far about the interior? Interior, a little more luxury, which is hard it to is. say for a Nissan. It, it is. is, it's very um, luxurious. Luxurious feels for some people, not for me. All right, he heavier depression. steering right out the gate, heavier steering. Heavier car though, makes sense. But I'm not getting that wobble that we had in the other car, which is, I, I really think that should, if you guys ever go to the dealership, you can just have them just check that. So interior, sir? Seven. How are you gonna give it less than the Porsche? Point five. No, no, you said seven. By the way, the, the look you gave the GT3, was that an eight? I kind of want to upgrade it to an 8.5. Okay, so what do you rate the GTR looks was? Eight. This car can, like, once you pick up the speed, it has the performance. I know that because I've driven this. It's just, for me, in my head, when I'm sitting in this car, I actually feel kind of luxurious I'm just driving it. Like, it's definitely a lot better of a daily. You're still feeling a lot of the road, not at, nearly as much, nearly as much as the GT3. But like, the seats are comfy, I'm feeling comfy, but I can also like, you know, you can send it. So one thing we're gonna try, we're gonna put in the manual here to see how quick these shifts are. You don't feel that in the Porsche, you feel me, buddy? That, that felt nice. Maybe the other GTR I drove was broken, but this shifting also feels... Do you hear this thing, dude? It does sound very... This is, car. this is an ex exciting car to drive. Wow, I'm impressed. So up here is another on-ramp. Got it. To 75. I mean, this sounds very wicked. So you're getting two different types of sounds. This is taking all sorts of induction noises, really meaty exhaust, compared to the Porsche getting really just crisp, high RPM. Definitely growing on me, dude, as I'm tracking this. Dude, it feels really nice. I, I like the balance between the luxury of this feels good and you can really just. No, you can't up. turn. Oh, not turning. No, no, no. This car can't turn. Can't turn. Because it sucks. Have you tried? Uh, no. I, mean, no. I have not even tried to turn this car. This car d will perform well. Like, it's, it's made, so? I know you. I know you think it's just. I mean, it is really fast in the street line, too, but. Right up here. If you took this car to the track, this would perform very well. Like just out of the box, especially with what you have done to it. Performance wise, dude, this is, feels nice. Can I give it like a, does that have to be 0.5 from your other decibels? It can be something else. Okay. The braking and the lag on the shifting is definitely the biggest sound size, the amount of power it has, and it is very responsive for being such a heavy car when you are steering, especially like when you actually are accelerating. Feels good. Performance wise, we're gonna give this a solid. Now keep in mind, a 10 is like a, a McLaren P1. I can beat a P1. Some cars can go above a 10. Like some girls okay. are, some okay. girls are okay. like 12 okay. out of 10. Like, you know, water's oh, okay. 12 out of 10, you know? She definitely, she is. Right. Same what? with Maya. Maya? Maya's a 12 out of 10 as well. What's Melina? Infinity, you mother I was just making sure, dude. Obviously. Duh. I Duh. Say. Yeah. What? Um. Okay. So we're gonna F soon. Okay. So you have to give me the performance. Yes, performance 8.9. Less than the Porsche? Yes! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, this, this thing will beat the f out of that piece of Dude, shit. I can no. Okay. Yeah. Just kidding. I think Porsches have a lower getting ability because Porsches are cars for like car people. Yes. I think. And the Porsche getting ability is gonna be a 7.5. 7.5. Yeah. Especially in a state like Texas where it's all about that muscle and that power and that feel. That's right, bro. You gotta feel that, you gotta hear that, that yeah, power, that right. engine. We're gonna give the uh GTR an eight on the Ability because I still think it's according to you, the GT3 wins by 0.1. By 0.1, okay. Well, yeah, that's how it is. Jake has picked the GT3. Jake, thanks so much for coming. Big shout out to, to Jake for coming on today. 